Well, Keefe talked about, you know, various meetings he had with Puff and there's words thrown out, you know, according to Keefe that, that Puff said, well, you know, I'll, I'll pay a million dollars to make this problem go away and so forth. Um, and then after, you know, Tupac passed away, you know, there was a rumor that a payment went, you know, from Puffy's camp and it was supposed to go to Keefe D and the Southside guys. And according to TK Kirkland, Zip got that money and he kept it for himself. Well, the story that has circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money I heard. To, to Zip. Yes. And Zip was supposed to give the money to, to Keefe in there. Yes. But he never gave the money to but him. But thank God he never gave him the money, right? Think about it. If he gave the money, Puffy would be in prison now, money for hire, a murder for hire. So thank God. If, if, if this is a true story. I, I'm not saying yes or no. But if he would have gave him them the money, it would have been a murder for hire and Puffy would be locked up. Now, you had mentioned something about a check. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah, I could talk about it. I mentioned it on uh, Doggy Diamond platform. And I had, you know, I told MREC and some other people, if anything happened to me, this is all what happened. They got, they got the whole tape. They got everything that, you know, that went down or whatever like that, that I said, and I've already said it. Um, what happened was, is that you had to understand who Zip was. You know, Zip was a mastermind, a gangster, a pimp, uh, a, a hustler, and he he had more game than catalogs had flakes, brother. You understand? So, just for instance, I'm, I, I, before I break this check thing down to you, Zip used to do shit like that. He had 20 guys in the club with him, right? And he gonna say, yo, we got all these girls, you got chicks, we got... We're going to get 20 bottles of champagne, five bottles of uh, Grey Goose or Belvedere, and we're going to get five bottles of Hennessy. Now, he'll tell all 20 of the guys, I need like four, 500 from each one of y'all. You understand? Because they know in the club, bottles are $200 and better. You know what I mean? So we could drink all night and, we, you know, we could show how the girls like that. Boom. Zip already went to the manager and most managers and people in the clubs thought he was Puff's uncle. He already went to the and made a deal with him on the bottles. You understand? So <laughs> these guys are giving him two to five hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? Giving their money out. He's getting the bottles at cost. You understand? Because he's getting so many. You understand? Yeah. And when he go to get the manager some money, it's only a tip for the bartenders. Because <laughs> he already right. paid for that. You know what I mean? Right. And, and to expand on that, when I interviewed Mike Tyson, he went into this whole story about how he was hanging out and Don King showed up with 600000 in cash for a fight. And Zip basically finessed Don King out of that 600000 basically grabbed the money and shooed Don King out the room before any contracts got signed and basically... The two of them spent that six hundred thousand themselves. Zip took Zip took like six Zip took the six hundred thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. From who? From Dom. He came in with the money. He's trying to do something, and then Zip said, "Zip said, thought let's come, let's come back later and we'll talk yeah. about that." He's walked them out the door. He said, "Hey man, let me get some of that money to pay some people. I got to pay the people." <laughs> WDC the dog the dog said, "Come back, just come back." And Zip, you never met Zip, have you? I haven't. No. Zip is such a gentleman. It's, Don, it's, please come back. Zip. Not right now. Now he's just not feeling well. Dog, click click. Bye. And then we're thinking about we're like, "Wow, we gotta have a party. Let's get some bitches. Let's get everything. We gotta do it tonight." So Zip is known for just robbing people in various types of ways. I wouldn't say ways. robbing them, you know what I'm saying? Well, because ain't nobody kinda. took them in, in, to court. Right, F <laughs> finessing, finessing people, yeah. basically. Finessing people. I told you he, he had more gang than Kellogg had flakes, man. You know what I'm saying? He could okay. talk a well out of water. So now, All right. um, after Pac got killed and um, we heard about you know, somebody got a check or something like that. Zip came up on my man's spot, 
because, you know, he used to always try to, you know, show him new cars and everything. Every time he got something new, he would come on the block, our block, and show it to us, either to the game room or on the block when we was cooking or whatever we were doing. And he came up there, and I heard TK, TK Kirkland interview with you. He said he got a check for five. It wasn't no check for no $500,000. Zip had a check in his right pocket, right back pocket, and that check was for a million dollars. He said he got the, uh, Jimmy Hinchman got him the check from Barry Hankerson or something like that. Barry Hankerson, I think, you know, there was a Leah uncle or manager or something like that, gave him that check for Black Ground Records. That's what he said. Follow the paper. I didn't know he had a record label. I didn't know he had a record company, Black Ground label, but that's what he said he got the check for. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one that's seen the check. There's other people that I'm not going to mention their name, but they know, you know, they know who I am because we already discussed it and talked about it. You understand? And I told people that I was going to let them know, let the people know. He had a check for a million dollars, but he said mm -hmm. he, that Jimmy Hinchman got it for him from Barry Hankerson for Black Ground Records. I okay. didn't know he had a well, record company. Well, ultimately, Keefe D and them never got the check, which in the grand scheme of things probably worked out best if Puff actually did write a check for that because otherwise you'd be connected to that situation. So, you know, Eric Von Zip keeping the money kind of shielded everyone from the situation. In, in its own so he's a savior. Type of way. Yeah, in a way. In, in a he's way. a savior. Yeah, and, and rest in peace, uh, yeah. Eric Von Zip. Yeah. He ended up passing away some years later, I think, from cancer. Right. So whatever stories Zip has essentially died. But, but it, that's crazy. You know, that cancer, you know, you know, that cancer didn't show up until after he got shot. Mm. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was crazy. I used to work this club. See, everybody trying to say I didn't know Zip. I knew Zip just like I knew the back of my hand. I think I even told you how for my birthday he brought two prostitutes up to me and be like, yo, here go chocolate, here go vanilla. He was holding them like this. He's like, here go, here go chocolate, here go vanilla. It's your birthday. You can have them both and be greedy. Or you could take one or I could take one. I say, yo, Unc, I'm good. You can have, I'm good. You can have a room. And I went down to the tour bus. You know, he was generally like that. He ate my food. I love to cook. I used to cook for everybody on the block. You know what I'm saying? He used to come eat off. We used to make fried turkeys from macaroni and cheese, greens, cornbread, all that shit like that. And Zip used to always come down. We knew him. You know what I'm saying? When he had an issue or problem, you know what I'm saying? It's people and Slick and the family that he called to make sure that he wouldn't have no problems. You understand? So yeah. I knew Zip very well. You know what I mean? I worked at his club. 